Hey, hey guys, a vlog. I'm going to be answering a quick question. Any tips in starting a web development business? The questioner said, I know HTML and CSS. So if you've been watching my videos, many of them, you'll see that the answers are all strung up in many of my videos, especially on the careers and code uh, playlist. I forget what it's called all of a sudden. Anyway, you'll see the playlist. That said, I'll try to summarize a few things. If you know HTML and CSS, it will be difficult to start a web development uh, career because a front-end web developer, somebody who just builds a front-end, first of all, you need more than HTML and CSS. You need HTML5, CSS3, that's, that's all of HTML and all CSS. You need to know uh, some JavaScript. You're going to need to know a JavaScript library like jQuery. And you may need to learn some front-end JS frameworks, like React as an example. What you have to do if you are looking for work, working for a company, you have to go looking around in your area where you happen to live, geographically speaking, and see where the demand lies. You got to look, just look, what are, what are the listings say? What are they looking for in terms of skill sets? And there's your map in that regard. That being said, the money is always in back-end, server-side. Back-end means server-side web development. Server-side means writing the logic code, the logic code, the code that forms the heart of a web app and that is code that sits on the servers as in the web servers so you're looking at a bunch of choices there you can do php you can do java you can do python you can do ruby you can do javascript of course javascript is rising fast going forward two three years and now too uh, javascript is like if you want to work for companies that's where the money is going to be. There's a lot of demand for JavaScript development these days. Although it's a bit of a wild west at this point because the technology in terms of JavaScript on the server is evolving quite quickly. And so you're going to see a lot of, uh, you know, there'll be some issues along the way. But that's normal. I've seen it with many other uh, languages and many other uh, communities, if you will. I saw it with Ruby, I saw it with Java, I saw it with ASP.NET, with the .NET framework, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, if you want to do freelance, I highly recommend, again, always the caveat, you got to check your area. As a freelancer, the big money in demand is uh, PHP, PHP development with Laravel, or PHP, WordPress, WordPress theme, WordPress configuration development. There's a lot of work there, simply because WordPress is not sexy uh, these days. PHP, even though it's, it's, it's very powerful, it's not sexy. You see... A lot of new developers look at PHP and they go, that's old, that's no good. And the reason they think that is because PHP has kind of a sordid, dirty past. It was a procedural language initially. It was an ad hoc language. What do I mean by that? PHP was originally developed just to build simple little dynamic web pages. Dynamic meaning pages that change all the time. They connect to databases. And it was very, it was very rough. It was it was before all the advanced architectures uh, that we see today were developed, and so it uh, it has this dirty back past where a lot of PHP apps developed in the 90s, early 2000s were really 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 messy. And in fact, PHP 4 the language was out, like with PHP 3 it wasn't object oriented at all. PHP 4 was kind of half object oriented. Anyway, PHP has a dirty past, and as a result, a lot of people still have this impression that PHP is still the same, whereas in fact, PHP since 5 point, well, I guess since PHP 5, and we're at 7 now, is very sophisticated in terms of the language. You can do everything that you can see in uh, all the modern programming languages, whether it be Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python. Yes, each language has its strengths and its weaknesses, yada, yada. But when it comes to pure web app creation, Nothing gets you up and running as quickly as PHP. That's why I recommend it, especially as a freelancer, because there's a lot of business opportunity. So there you go. Uh, to summarize, you have to, uh, to get your web development going. You're going to have to develop some more skill sets. Uh, pick a 
server-side programming language like a PHP, like a Python, like a Ruby, like a Java, depending on what you want to do, and start doing gigs. Your first couple of gigs, your first couple of jobs might be free. That's normal. And uh, there you go. That's my tips for starting your web development career in 2017, something regular viewers of this channel have seen many times, but whatever. Oh, one last thing. I shut down the Killer Sites forum oof, over a year or so ago because I was getting so much spam and I was like, ah, forget it. And I've had a few, more and more people asking me about course specific forums for the inter, uh, interactive web developer course package. And if you are a purchaser of that package or somebody who just follows my vlogs, let me know if you would actually want me to restart the Killer Sites community. It's just a standard forum where you set up your profile and you interact with people. And this way, instead of just responding, for instance, to my videos on YouTube, you can actually start discussions about whatever you like. If I do this, I would like to get a couple of moderators as well. And it's a pretty robust forum software that I, it's a commercial one that I use now. And uh, so, yeah, if you're interested, let me know if uh, personally, I'm not you know, running out to do this. But if there's enough people who want to participate, then I'll put it up, you know, just for your convenience. Well, it's actually there now. I just locked it down. I don't, I don't let new people join or post. So uh, that's pretty much it. Bye.